Hello, welcome to an introduction to Node Excel. Node Excel is the network overview, discovery, and exploration add in for Excel 2007 and 2010. It comes to you from the Social Media Research Foundation, a group of open source developers and researchers building tools for analyzing social media. Recently, a book, Analyzing Social Media Networks with Node Excel, Insights from a Connected World, was released by Morgan Kaufman. The authors, Derek Hansen, Ben Schneiderman, and myself, have put together a collection of chapters, some contributed by fine researchers from around the world, that apply a variety of network analysis techniques to sources of data like Twitter, email, YouTube, Flickr, the World Wide Web, and wikis. The book is now available from Morgan Kaufman. We're a collection of sociologists, information scientists, and computer scientists interested in making better tools for analyzing social networks. Our group as a whole involves many people from many universities, all of whom are working on a project to make social network analysis as easy to use as making a pie chart. To demonstrate this, I have here a uh, recent Node Excel uh, workbook, and in this worksheet, I've asked Node Excel to go and get me information about people who say the word Node Excel in Twitter. I've set it up so that we get the three different kinds of edges or connections. Uh, the follows relationship, the replies to relationship, and the mentions relationship. And we get as many as 1,000 people when we do so. And we add a column for uh, each tweet. We'll get the content of their most recent tweet and some statistics that uh, Twitter has about each person. Now, I did this just before starting this video. And so I now have a collection of these edges. These edges are connections that were formed when people followed, mentioned, or replied to one another. And all of these people are in this list because at some point recently, they said the word Node Excel. And there they all are. We have some information about each of them here. We know things like how many people they follow and how many people follow them and how many tweets they've made and how many favorites they have, uh, a description of who they are, what time zone they're in and what that is numerically, when they join Twitter. And we also have a link to their profile page, the most recent tweet they've made and the date and time of that tweet. So we have a little bit of information about who they are uh, from Twitter. We also have the fact that they have these edges, these connections between people. Um, so what I'm now going to do is use the very simple automate feature. The automate feature allows us to run a series of operations on the graph all at once. And I've set these up so that um, all the graph metrics that we have can be calculated. And I've made a series of choices in our autofill columns where I've said the size is going to be of each vertex is going to be mapped to the followers and the label will be the name of the person or the vertex name. Uh, the vertex tooltip will be their last tweet. So when you tooltip over something, you'll see it flare up with their last tweet. And we're going to lay them out in the order of their size, so followers. So uh, I'm now going to pull the trigger on this and run a series of these operations. Uh, these operations are running on the workbook. And I now have uh, a bunch of things that have been calculated. So if I now go back into my vertices worksheet, I can see I now have in degree and out degree and betweenness centrality and closeness centrality, eigenvector centrality, page rank, and the clustering coefficient for that person. Uh, I also have the ability to see a graph. And here's the graph. And I'll pull it out of there a little bit and get to see it a little bit more clearly. Uh, this is the graph of all the people who recently tweeted the word Node Excel. And what we have is a dot for each of those people. And a line exists for each of the relationships that happened in that graph. So for example, if I replied to somebody or I retweeted them, I might have a line between us. In fact, um, 
I am uh, prominent in this graph. There's Mark Smith. Uh, so a few things I'm going to do to the graph to refine it. Uh, one is I'm going to ask Node Excel to uh, replace these dots with the profile photos. And the profile photos are going to be a little bit more informative, I think, than uh, what we have with the dots. So I now can see a picture of each person as they are represented in, um, in Twitter. And so we can now fiddle with the, the graph a little bit and try to find a good layout for it, uh, something that's going to highlight its structure without obscuring uh, too much information. And so we can see that Howard Rheingold is a prominent part of my graph. Uh, there uh, is a tweet that mentions Node XL. Thank you, Howard. Uh, there I am. I tweet a good deal about Node XL, but we have other prominent people like Barry Wellman mentioning our book. Thank you, Barry. Uh, and some of these people are uh, more peripheral. So there's Jan. Uh, he has tweeted, and uh, Jan is a Francophone, and so he's possibly reaching the beginning of a whole nother audience of people who are French speaking. Um, we also have some folks who have uh, tweeted us but are not otherwise connected to the, the group so much. There's Allison Druin from uh, the University of Maryland uh, who shares a departmental affiliation with Barry Wellman who is a contributor to our project. Um, so you can see that we, we can see all of these patterns of connection. I'm just going to drag the graph up a little bit and start to neaten it. Uh, it would be nice to have all of our isolates laid out more cleanly, for example. And so I could grab a few of these guys. Uh, there's a little triad, uh, and we could lay them out a little bit more cleanly. So having done so, and oh, it's more than a triad. It's a little quad. So I can now right click and open a uh, web page for that person so I can easily delve into the content presented in this graph. I can also filter the graph and so I'll pull up our dynamic filters and the dynamic filters are essentially uh, all the attributes we have about the, the graph and the nodes in the graph and they're presented to the user as a series of sliders allowing us to, for example, say, uh, we only want to see the people with the highest amount of in-degree, people who get lots of connections. And as I filter on, uh, I'm sorry, out-degree, people who have lots of connections, we can see that uh, we filter it down to, uh, I'm one of the last people standing. Um, and then I could say, well, it's a matter more of in-degree, how many people connect to you, and then I'm still at the end, because I do talk about Node Excel a good deal. Uh, but the filters allow us to really reveal some of uh, the core information that would otherwise be obscured if there's too much information in the graph. So with that, uh, I'll pause there, and uh, in our next video, we'll review some of the more advanced features of Node Excel and its ability to analyze social media networks. Thanks. Bye.